Alright, we rolling. I'm just gonna say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shah, Basham, Rakaku Das. Okay. Uh Rocket to Yahweh, Rocket to Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And uh Shalom to the Akia. Anything y'all wanted to go into? I got some. Nasty people out here, man. They say that New York City's even worse. Yeah, because you had this big ass city, there's no toilets or nothing. They be shitting on the sidewalk. Yeah, no, no. Welcome on Cleveland Avenue, you said on Livingston. Livingston and Maine. Yeah, five second rule don't apply when you drop food out here. That shit, that's just gone. You drop it, it's over. I got a scripture. You see in Austin, Austin, Texas, somebody is hand delivering bombs to people's houses. There's been three of them, I think they said in the last month, two weeks or some shit like that, man. I'm a reader, I'm a reader, man. A hand so, delivered bombs? Hand delivering bombs, man. Some 70 year old woman just got fucked up. She ain't dead, though. Well, I see something where somebody uh, sent some poison to Melania Trump. Whoa, wow. Yeah, you know, I see that? Yeah, I saw it. I mean, I've seen it over there in England. We have white powder they deliver What's up, man? Over there in England, uh, some Russians got caught. Uh, uh, the, they caught Russians poisoning some Russian double spies. There was a Russian spy, but it was double spying for the British, so they killed him. Y'all see that? It was in the news this morning. They trying to make a big deal out of it. They, they, they left. trying to say they set up. Yeah. Well, it could be set up. That's all that matters. Bro, this shit is going down. All this shit is going down. Find this real quick. Yeah, but these people out here, they think this little bullshit life that got going on is going to continue from day to day. You know? Hey, why are you looking for that? I'll get that scripture. Yeah, they, these people, they ain't got no clue what's coming. There's going to be a whole lot of death out here. Right. Well, they'll know once, once, they, once they fire us hitting their right, ass. Right now, they don't care. They can kill us. I was, I was just watching The Road the other day. I found a copy of The Road, so I popped it in. But yeah, as soon as that, that, that missile hit, you know what I mean? Your boy started filling up the bathtub. <laughs> Saving that water. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's a good movie. Never get too old. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. I mean, I mean that's the point right there. I could read more, but. Yeah, cause these people, they think their inward thought, you know, their house is going to continue forever. They think America's going to continue forever. You know, these people, they think their uh, little job's going, they think that check is going to come every week. No, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> they ain't never thinking that the end is near, that the, the missile's going to get shot. <laughs> right. Hey, you see the boxes are starting to get delivered. That check is getting cut off, man. Now Trump got the food boxes being delivered already. So I'm trying to get me some welfare cheese. <laughs> get me a free box, yeah. shit. They got the black bitch recording the video. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. But when they start starving, that's what will look delicious. I'm you know? great. I'm grateful ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, right. Lucky the devil gave you anything at all. You be lucky the devil throw you some crumbs. You know. You know. But these you people. Thank God for they be honest with you. These people they don't deserve food stamps. You know what I mean? Because you know they only gonna give it to a woman anyways. Every time I go to the grocery store, I got children too. I'm not a woman. Why can't I get some food stamps? I go to the store, all, the, all these women's carts overflowing with food. And I, I ain't got nothing, you know what I mean? Well, I hope these people starve, bro. These bitches sell their food stamps. Bro. Yeah, they sell their food stamps. You know, the majority of people who get food stamps, they get them fraudulent. But that's it, cause Jake, that's what he's a uh, he's a schemer. He's a, I mean, it's good though. Abuse the system, like I care, like I give a fuck. I think y'all should abuse it more. 
Jeremiah 5 and 12. It says, They have lied, Jehovah, and said it is not he. Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them, thus it shall be done unto them. Yeah, because all these prophets out here, there's no word. The word of the Most High is not in their mouths. It's the word of their own heart is in their mouths. I'm sorry to tell y'all and break the news to you, but your pastor does not know the Bible. He's not teaching that all Israel shall be saved. He's not teaching you that Esau is going to be destroyed. They're not teaching you that America is going to be destroyed. All they're going to teach you is joy, joy, joy down in your heart and Jesus loves you. That's all they teach. Hope and love. They ain't going to get no prophecies and no scriptures. Just hope and love. That's, yeah, hope, love, and prophecy. Man, fuck that shit, man. There ain't no love out here. Didn't the scriptures say the love of many shall wax cold? Ain't no love out here. This is this, this world is the farthest thing from love. This is pure hatred, pure concentrated fucking hatred. What you got? Hey, that's why the scriptures say that we uh, the scriptures say we live in Tartarus. What's that scripture say? We in chains of darkness. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's we ain't got to get it. I'll just quote it because in the Greek, the word for the chains of darkness is Tartarus. Which is the lowest depths of hell? You know what I mean? And that's what that's what this world is. We live in the lowest depths, the darkest, scariest depths of hell. You know what I mean? Little demons and hobgoblins out here, fucking ghouls. Right here it says one of them died, man. What was Boston that? police, FBI responded to second explosion Monday, one dead. Man, well that's not enough. Right over. Oh, this should happen in Austin, Texas. They need to do more of that shit. That's an uh, Alex, Alex Jones neighborhood. You know, he's probably going going crazy on it. They shut their channel down yet? No. Oh, yeah, y'all watching this video. Uh, yeah, YouTube's starting to fuck with us now because one of my channels got, uh, it's almost deleted. I can't log in or nothing. So if y'all want to watch any of these videos, these videos just ain't going to be, we ain't going to be here forever. You know, you got people lollygagging around, watching the videos, thinking, oh, I'll go out teaching next year. You know, I got these videos. I can watch them. When I, no, you you ain't got nothing, man. They could delete this whole channel right now, you know what I mean? This channel right here got like a... We got damn near a thousand videos on this channel. But it's all... It, all them thousands of videos gonna be deleted. Within a second, they'll be gone. It's coming. Hey, they used to do that to us all the time. Like one of my other channels, you got like 500 videos on it. It's about to all be deleted, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Oh, yeah, you gotta seek the Most High while, he, while he's found. Like I said, you got YouTube deleting our channels now. We ain't, we ain't gonna be out here teaching forever. Y'all be like, oh, y'all been out here since 2009. But soon you ain't gonna see us all. You ain't gonna find us. Go ahead. Call you upon him while he is near. Hey. Go ahead. How do you see the Lord? Really, you go to the prophets because the Lord, you know, we be the Lord's uh, mouthpiece. So, like, like back in the day, when the king wanted something, he needed the guidance to see, oh, should I go to this, should I go to that? What do you do? You call the prophet. So all you people out there, y'all supposed to call the prophet and ask them for counsel, what you supposed to do, <laughs> how you supposed to live. Man, that's funny. We go. What you, what you want to do? Y'all niggas just funny. That sounds like some funny shit what you just said. <laughs> people calling us, asking us for counsel. Man, the people will spit on us, man. They'll spit on us. They'll talk shit. They want to fight us. They all ask for no counsel. But you're right. That's what they should be doing, but they're not. They're not I mean, that's why they're going to die. That's why there's going to be a whole lot of death. Because you're right. People should be uh, coming to us. Like even the pastors, they should be coming to us, right? Looking for the answer. Looking for the proper breakdown. But they're not doing that, man. Man, these people out here are fucking... They were evil as hell, man. That's why the Lord gonna kill him. Oh, just like just like the boy said, uh, said what's his fucking name? Saul. Yeah, Saul. Yeah. When he went, uh, when Samuel told him to do shit, he didn't do it. Yeah. And then you know, the spirit, the Lord took the spirit away from Saul. And then when Samuel died, he was, you know, wanted to see Saul and shit, so he could go, you know, get some rich guy for him. The point is, it was too late for him to, uh, to seek the Lord. Yeah. He didn't listen to Saul, Saul Samuel until he died. Yeah, it was already too late. The Lord had put the wicked spirit on him. It told you his spirit changed. Yeah. It 
tells you that when he became wicked. The so, Lord, that proves it. There's no free will. The Lord will just switch. The Lord will just switch you on and off like a light switch. You know what I mean? And then it said, uh, "Evil spirit from the Lord came on." Yeah. That's how the Lord could do. You could be in the truth one second, next minute the, the Most High just knock you right up out of there. You know what's that scripture say? Many called, many are called, but few are chosen. So you're gonna have a lot of people called, doing the work, but they, they'll be out of there. Man, how many faces you don't see come and gone? You know, you don't see like hundreds of faces. You don't see no more teaching. So what? You know, that's gonna tell you they was never, uh, they was never. Men of the Lord to begin with. What was I thinking of? Wow. 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 So you got a precept? <laughs> And say he took the book of the Lord and read the book. So we get up here, we just ain't the same. We we coming out that book, the same book that Nehemiah. What are you Nehemiah? Yep. The same book Nehemiah reading out. Of, we reading out that same book. And then and when you read it, everybody got a problem with it. You know what I mean? Right. Fucking. Which the Lord had commanded to Israel, and Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation, both of men and women, and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read there when before the street that was before the water gate from the morning until midday before the men and women and those that could understand and the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. Hey, that's back when Israel had a little order to it. All the people were attentive. Ain't nobody attentive to the to the words of the Lord now. That's, we be out here teaching. Here it is, when we teach his word, y'all supposed to be quiet and listen. But we'll have people to tell us to shut the hell up. We, they don't understand, but when they do that, they bring a death sentence upon their head. They pretty much, you seal your fate when you do that. Give the sacrifice of the food. You got men out here reading out the book of the Lord, and people come up and you know, talk shit because you're out here reading out the book. That's just an automatic death sentence for them. They don't realize this is real. Man. Oh, it's real. This is real. If we come out here as a, as a fad, it's going to blow over one fucking day. I know, hopefully the Lord keep the spirit of, 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 of his spirit on us to keep teaching his word, but this ain't a fucking fad, you know? Definitely not a fad. Right. One like the new fucking Jordans come in, then if they get old, because a new a new set came in a couple months later and shit. Yeah, like we said, like we, we saying we see guys fall out all the time because they see people on YouTube and they get interested. They might go, to, like, they, like you said, they think it's a fad. Uh, we had somebody in our camp, well, I just say a little guy. Remember a little guy? Oh, it was like a fad way. to him, wasn't it? So, yeah, he sick his own way. Because back in them days, you know, that was the, being an Israelite was a cool thing to do, I guess, at that time. Because yeah. it was new, yeah. exciting. Yeah. They have never heard about it. Yeah, cussing out the white man and shit. Reading Job 9 24. That's always attractive to a man. Call him up the white man or the devil. New one. That's why they come in. Didn't know no scriptures. You got a lot of guys like that, man. They just do this thing because they can look cool. They think they're going to get them a little fame. Oh, <laughs> their rap careers didn't pan out, so now they want to uh, get their little fame by teaching the Bible. You see that a lot, too. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's like your boy, Killer Priest. Oh, Killer, man, the Killer Priest is bucked out. He, he talking, he on that Anunnaki shit now. He is talking about the Anunnaki and the Biru and all that. Hey guys, what's up, what's up bro? Right. So your boy, uh, what's his name, Killer Priest? He's going backwards. That's where I was at when I came in the truth. I've been known about that Sumerian shit. I've been known about the Anunnaki. We both been known about all that. Zacharias. We, yeah, it was Zacharias. Well, we've been. I've known about that years before I was in the truth. I mean, there's good information in the book, but some bugged out shit too, though. Right. I mean, he go hard on some stuff, but. Yeah, he studied the Babylonian bullshit of that heaven. Yeah. Wait a minute, Zacharias, this was a, a so-called Jew. Oh, yeah. 
he looked to be old as hell, too. So he set his ass up to convert the truth. Oh, yeah, he was set up for sure. Because them so-called Jews, they all stick together, you know? They got, he's just doing that to make money. Man, he seemed like he was sincere sometimes. But it's just really just to make money and keep feeding the Goyim lies, you know? Because they're not going to come out and say that the, uh, the, the chariots are actually black men. That the angels are black men and they're not aliens. That they're so-called black men. They're not going to tell you that. You see the new release from the good government? Oh, they said he's an alien or something? The chariot flying over the ocean. No, I, I I clicked on a video. Actually, I seen it this morning, but I couldn't get the video to play. Yeah, they was they, they, they was following. Me. They actually clicked onto it. First, they was trying to get the, the, the square thing to lock in on it, and they would finally get it. And it was following. Do so. Look at it go! Wow! Hey. Look at it go! I might have to go look that up. You know, he was all excited and shit. But they only give you a little bit of it because dude made a point that why they keep uh, giving us just this little bit. Why is trying to show the whole fucking video, man? Show us what else to do. But they just gave us a little bit. That motherfucker was flying just above the the ocean. Basically. Whatever they were in, probably a jet. But every time you see the chariots, though, that should be a reminder that what we talk about is true. Yeah. That's a every time I see a chariot, that lifts your spirits up. And it let you know, man, that what we doing is not bullshit. Because that's how we know that we being watched. For one thing, them chariots is out there. They are there watching and they waiting. They phone star for the fucking shit. Yeah, phone star for the shit. Yeah, shit star. That shit go like straight. Everything straight like that. All right, I'm falling star. Right, right, right. I was just making sure because I remember like a couple days ago, I think two days ago, whatever. I looked up and I seen like a little, like a brown, like that type of brown, the fire, whatever. It like fire. Yeah, they, the chariots all love to disappear on you. So it's a bad shit. Yeah, if you see a, a shooting star shoot down, go back up, take a left and a right. Yeah, that ain't no shooting see, star. That's one of the ones I've seen. The one I've seen when he met high is probably the highest his building, man. And it was uh, and it was going across and it just totally switched direction. Went totally the other way, man. And I went alone when I seen it either. Hey, you right on the point there, boss. What's the RFID R chip? Yeah. You gonna yeah. get you one? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, That'd be the uh, end of you after that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it would. Uh, uh, not only that, we know they were planning to that kind of, they already said about putting that crap in the car, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Credit yeah. cards. But you get it in your hand. Credit cards are gone. It's shit, you know. Yeah. You gotta warn the people, though. You're supposed to do, be doing what we're doing. They, uh, they, they, I, these I'm people are. I'm warned with solo. I will see. Solo. All right. All right. All right. Solo. Yeah, man. So if you know about this stuff, if you know about this stuff, man, that's some sick shit they're trying to do, man. They're trying to microchip everybody. That's some fucked in the head shit. That's something you when you want to warn people about that. You just gonna you just gonna be quiet. Just oh, I'm solo. Man, it's some fucking serious. You gonna know, warn these fucking people? You said they're gonna be serious to start that fire in the air. Be honest with you, I hate these people, man. But I was still warning. I hope they all die anyway. But you know, I already know the Lord going to save a few of them. So that's why we, because you don't know, man. One of these assholes out here might be a man of the Lord, you know? You just don't know. So you got to come out here and do this work, man, warn these people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll get the scripture to prove it. No, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just really hate these people, man. Because they're the reason why this world's so fuck, fucking miserable. Yeah, like. I'm so fucking stupid. I hate people, man. I don't want to say it's a dialogue. Hey, the Lord won't lie when he said long suffering. Patience. Worth it when that death comes. Oh, like, yeah. Because, like, cause like, like, the heathens, for example, the Lord don't punish them one by, like, like bit by bit. He punishes us bit, bit by bit. The heathens, he let this shit stack up to the heavens. And then he, then he destroys them all at once. Like, that's what's going to happen to Esau. Like, and that's key, too. Like, you said, stack up to the heavens. Going back to those chariots, the so-called UFOs, which are real. Did you know the black men fly around in UFOs and they're going to laser beam you? You didn't know that. So that sounds crazy, but that's what we know. That's what the scriptures say. We see the chariots. Like you, brother, just there's a new video that came out. But who was that shot by the government? Yeah, yeah, the Navy. So that means endless. So that's how we know this thing is real. Like he said, they're going to come out to heaven. You got the angels just on post watching. They're not going to come down and. 
get out the chair, come out and talk to us. I'm like, son, I have a mission for you. Well, we already know. It, 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 they wrote it down, bro. And they sitting there watching. You can look at them. Sure, they're around here protecting us. Yeah, man, they're protecting us. We're in the midst of fucking wolves. Because if an angel came down to talk to us anyway, we, they'd probably fuck us up. You couldn't even handle it. You see how Daniel said he talked to the angel. He got sick. Here you go. Zechariah 5 and 3. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth. Let me start back at 1. Zechariah 5, 1. Then I turned and lift up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof is ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Yeah, that's one of them chariots right there, the Beautiful. flying robe. Beautiful. They terrorize this shit, man. It's gonna be so many, it's gonna blacken the skies, man. It's gonna be like nighttime. Yeah, because you see, uh, there's many different types of chariots. Sometimes you'll just see the most, the one I usually see is just the circular one. You know, like a ball, it looked like a ball of light flying around, right? Look like a ball of fire or something flying around. And then you got the cigar shaped chariots. And y'all heard brothers say they've seen other shapes too. But you hear that's like one of the common shapes that with a cigar shaped chariot. Video that went up the other day. Another video, one was shaped like a shaped like a diamond. Yeah. A diamond. Yo, and yo, a chariot will turn. Uh, one chariot could turn into twenty little chariots. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, bugged out shit yeah, right you get, that's why people get bugged out reading Ezekiel. Talking about them ancient aliens and the ancient astronauts, motherfuckers. What's your boy, uh, George Stupinopoulos or whatever his name is? Christianity shit. So, uh, they had a video about Ezekiel. <laughs> yeah, Ezekiel. And they said it was like, you know, I got four heads, right? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which I said it's uh, the Hindu god and shit. Oh, my God. Ooh. I believe that shit. I thought it was crazy. Hey, yeah. if I would beat someone's ass if they said that, man. I'm yeah, probably. Yeah, you deserve to get your ass beat for yeah. saying that shit right there. You deserve to be DD, uh, DDT and yeah. get, your, get your fucking leg broke or something. Uh, so Hindus, 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 statues, the eyes moving, even those illusions, eyes moving and shit. Like, and they got it. Oh, they got this thing too. They worship. Uh, they worship rocks. They got these uh, phallic shaped rocks, shaped like a dick. And they take this rock and they just pour drink libations out to it. You ever seen it? They, they take. You know how in the Bible we, we pour out drink offerings to the Most High, right? But they pour out life. They call it a libation, a drink offering. But they can sit there and pour milk on a stone all day. Pouring out like, to a rock. And they keep them rubbing it, polishing it. Ooh. Like they like they polishing it like a rock. It looks like they jacking it off. Get, I, I promise you, get on YouTube and look up Hindu, uh, Hindu phallic rock or H Hindu libation, drink life, something like that, man. There's some weirdos. Only a weirdo would sit there and think a rock has magical powers. A rock, they worship rocks. Yep. That's all the heathens do that. Yep. They worship stones and idols, like the scriptures say. Yep. That's why the Muslims, they claim to be so holier than now. But they worship the goddamn Ka'a. They worship a meteorite. The Ka'aba stone is a fucking meteorite. They worship a meteorite. How crazy is that? And then you got, we go all Roman Catholics. That whole religion is an idol. Oh, what the fuck is this? A blue, a blue nigga. Yeah, like more than one blue. Eyes. Was it four, eight, nine eyes? Shiva's Man. blue. Yeah. That's Shiva. That's blue. Krishna is also blue. The tongue sticking out. Shit. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Like hell is this shit? Like a damn demon. Why is it demon? Is that the Egyptian that worshipped the green god? Oh yeah, Osiris. Yeah. yeah. And he dead too. Tammuz is also green. Tammuz and Osiris is one and the same. It's the god of vegetation. That's why he's green. He re the green represents the life and the death, and that's Osiris is the god of the underworld. All that bullshit. Hey, shit, Jake hear about that shit and eat that shit up. He really will. Oh, that's deep, dog. Oh, that's deep. Yo, oh, he, oh my god, man, I was watching. I was watching. I don't know how I got there, but I was watching a Bo Keen Woodbine interview on the Breakfast Club. I think. I was like, oh, Bo Keen. That's my. I remember him. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Pac, I actually, about, he got a show out called the uh, uh, was it Untouchables or something? Going into the murder mystery, Pac. Yeah, yeah. 
but I was watching uh, a video. I think it was a Breakfast Club. And he, he was gone. I was like, I was. I was